Welcome to another episode of West Explains Best. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Khan Academy exercise called sh shaded areas. Now, uh, you'll see a lot of these types of problems, not only on geometry tests, but you also see them on standardized tests like the SAT and ACT quite often uh, because it really changes, uh, challenges your understanding of, of spatial awareness and uh, kind of seeing the relationship between shapes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. It says a circle with radius of three centimeters sits inside an eight centimeter and seven centimeter rectangle. What is the area of the shaded region? So it says round your final answer to the nearest hundredth. So we're definitely gonna make sure we have a calculator handy for this. So let's go ahead and start. So how do you find the area of the shaded region? When people first look at these problems, they're thinking, well, I don't have a formula for a rectangle with a hole in it. So how do I find it when I don't even know some of these distances? Like I don't know this distance, I don't know this distance. And you'll see that it's not important. The key to finding the area of a shaded region in geometry is taking the big area, so the area of the large region, you subtract the area of, let's make it green, you subtract the area of the unwanted region, so let's call it U, and then you'll get the area, oh, I, I, I got a better idea, we'll call it NS for not shaded, and then you get the area of the shaded region. So take the whole big area, subtract everything that's not shaded, the area that you don't want, the unwanted area, and you're going to be left with what's shaded. Okay, so let's erase this. Okay, and now we have a good understanding of what we need to do. So we need to find the area of two things. So the first thing we need to find is we need to find the area, the big area, the large area, which is a rectangle, which is length times width. We already know both of those, it's eight and seven. So we can find that easily enough, it's 56 centimeters squared. Okay, so we already have our first puzzle piece, 56. Now we need to find the area of this circle. So the area of the circle is this guy. Notice how he's not shaded. So if we sub take that away, so if we have just the big rectangle, that's going to be too much, right? We don't want all of that. We want to get rid of this small region inside, which is that circle. So we need to subtract that away, and we're going to be left with just the blue, just the shaded region. So we know the area of a circle, this is a circle, is area equals pi r squared. And it's giving us r, so pi. Don't forget to put the 3 in parentheses, squared. A lot of times I see people, what they do is they multiply pi times three first and then they square that result. That will give you a wrong answer, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and square three, which is nine, and then we're gonna uh, multiply that by pi. And I would try to use the pi button on your calculator and not just use 3.14, it'll be a little bit more precise and I'm hoping that's what Khan Academy wants as well. So we multiply nine uh, times pi and we get 28.27433388. And the reason why I'm writing that all out is because I'm storing that on my calculator. I'm having that saved because I'm going to come back to it. Minus 28. I'm going to put dot 27, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So now we're ready to just go ahead and subtract. So we do 56 minus 28.27. And we hit enter. And we get 27.725. So what do we learn? Well, we need to round to the nearest hundredth. So the nearest hundredth is going to be 27.73. It's also good to put square units, so square units. And it's, it's also important that when you're doing these types of problems, round at the end. Try to do all your work and then round at the very end. So we said 27.73, and that should yield the correct result. There we go. All right, on to the next one. A circle with radius 3 centimeters sits inside a circle with radius 7. What is the area of the shaded region? Okay, same process. We're going to take the area of the big one minus the area of the small one that's not shaded to give us the area that we want. So the area of, let's call it L large. I guess I could have gone B. Let's use green again because it's a green circle. Area of the small, and that's going to give us our area of the shaded. Area of shaded, all this area. 
Okay. Um, I need to take a closer look at this. Okay, so it's giving us the radius of the big one, which is important. Sometimes what they'll do is they will give you, let me get my eraser a second. They'll give you, uh, for example, they'll tell you this might be four. And then it gives you the radius of the small one inside and it says this is three. And this usually freaks out a lot of students. And they'll not realize that they can just draw this down here, three. And now they have the whole radius of the big circle, which is seven. But it, goes, it already gives you uh, the radius of the big one without having to do that. And it says it's seven. At least that's what I'm hoping it's saying. So pi r squared is our area of the large. So we have pi times seven squared. Do the squaring first, we get 49 pi. Let's multiply that out because it's gonna ask for a decimal. If I am if I was your geometry teacher, I'd just have you leave it like that though. So we get 153.93804. And again, I'm storing this on my calculator so that I can use it later. Now I'm onto the area of the smaller one. It's gonna be the same as we had in the last problem. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals pi times nine, three squared. Okay, I did that quickly. Nine pi. 9 times pi is going to be 27 something. Let's find out exactly what. Oh, 28. My bad. 28.27, etc. I keep these stored because now I'm going to take 153 minus 28 equals my area. So I do 153 minus 28. Okay. And then I get my answer, which is 125.66. Three. I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth right here. The number before the six is, or after the six is three, so we keep it. So it's 125.66. 125.66. All right, we're doing great. Let's just do one more. So it gives us, find the area of this uh, shaded region. It gives us a rectangle this time. So now we're going to take the area of the large region minus the area of the smaller region. This time it's going to be a rectangle and that will give us the area of the shaded region. Should have picked some different letter, but we're good. So area of the larger region, pi r squared. We're given that the radius is, it tells us, it looks like it's eight. It says it, uh, it's eight. So we have eight squared times pi, that's 64 times pi. I'm going to go ahead and type that into my calculator. A lot of this is just calculator work. Once you understand the main concept, which is this, a lot of it is just plug and play, as I like to say. You got most of the, the battle already won for you. Zero, six, one, and I have it stored. Okay, now we're on to the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is going to be area of the small equals uh, length times width, two times 12, 24. So we're just going to take our answer 201 minus 24 and that's going to give us our answer again it's important to have it stored so you can use it as exact as possible and then round at the end so we get 177.06 and then the next number is one so we're going to keep it at 177.06 so let's type that in centimeter squared 177.06 there we go Hope you guys found this useful and that you're able to take this and apply it to some other areas of your mathematical lives. For now, be good, be good, <laughs> be good, be kind, be true, be nice, be honest, and have a wonderful day. See ya.